For today's intro, I wrote you guys a little poem. Welcome back to Kingdom Craft. I hope that you have a blast. I want to rule all of the land, but it's not going as I planned. Last episode, Callum burned my trees and left a volcano for me to see. Now we shall get our revenge, so it may get a little tense. I am kind of the server villain. I don't care because I'm still chilling. Now I need you to decide if you're going to hit subscribe. I'm sorry I don't mean to press, but is it going to be a yes? Obviously you don't have to as I'm the villain. For example, watch me kill this chicken. Well, wasn't that lovely? On with the video. So we're gonna start off today by heading over to our treehouse and speaking to Meredith. We're not feeling particularly evil today, so I wanna do something nice like pet collecting. The next quest is called Bunny Demands. Oh dear, Joel. That golden carrot I gave you has sent the rabbits hopping mad. They're a little jealous now and they're demanding a bunch of carrots for themselves. Please bring me a stack of carrots to meet their demands. Okay, Meredith. I'll do that for you. I don't think we've actually got any carrots anywhere. We've only got that golden one that Meredith gave us in the first place. So let's venture out into the unknown and see if we can find a village. Now I could go buy all these carrots, but I kind of want to save my money right now as I want to buy some string to get a silk touch. And carrots aren't that rare, so it seems a bit pointless buying them. Hey, here we go. This village is really far out. I doubt anyone's been here. Ooh, yes, because look at all those bookshelves. Take the books. Right, who would ever pay five emeralds for one iron helmet? That is a terrible deal. But there are some carrots, which I will steal. Might actually be enough in this one place for all of the carrots. Hey, yes, there we go. We got the full stack and some extra. Would it be a proper exploration trip if you didn't come back with a stack of coal? Okay, let's go claim our reward from Meredith. I don't know what I'd do without you, Joel. I know, Meredith, I know. And it is... $600, three diamonds, very nice, a name tag, and a bunny plushie. Let me see that plushie. Adorable, I love it. Meredith, you know what? I'm in a helpful mood today. What else do you need? I just love cats so much. I think everyone should have a feline companion. Go on and tame an ocelot. Okay, but we need fish for that. So I guess we should head over to our friend, our lover, Marlon. I meant best friend, not not lover. As he's probably gonna set us a fishing quest. Let's see it, Marlon. Give me 60 salmon. Okay, right. Um, I guess I'll fish the salmon and then I'll keep all the cod for taming the ocelot. Time to sit back, relax, and do some fishing. Right, so far I've fished up another fishing rod and a tripwire hook and no fish. So we're on two salmon, a fishing rod, a bow, and two saddles somehow. Making lots of money, but not much salmon. Right, I've not had much luck with salmon. However, I've managed to fish up four saddles somehow, and a name tag, plus these three fishing rods, which one has mending on again. So let's sell these saddles and buy this salmon, because this is taking way too long. Only costs about 3,000, so not too bad. And now we can return these salmon to Marlon who gave us a thousand back, but five golden apples, that's pretty good. At least we got loads of raw cod to go tame an ocelot with. So let's head to the jungle biome and catch ourselves a cat. I hope Ollie's not as protective over these cats as Stacey is over those wolves. Right, where the heck are all these ocelots at? It seems pretty empty in here. Maybe Ollie has tamed them all. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've run around this entire biome. No ocelot. I think there's no ocelots in that biome. I've searched literally every single corner of it. Nothing there, so let's go find our own jungle biome. What the heck? I've somehow stumbled into a woodland mansion. Completely randomly, without a map. But I've got some golden apples, so it should be all right. Oh gosh, I forgot these guys hit hard. But they drop good stuff. These chest rooms are always empty, aren't they? Where's that fire sound coming from? Oh dear. Is that gonna catch onto them? It's caught onto the mansion. Right, well, let's be quick. Otherwise, we're soon gonna be engulfed in flames. Oh my gosh, that guy just dropped an axe with silk touch on it. That's amazing. I don't think I can get the spawners, but still, I can fix that and actually get a silk touch axe. That's cool. What's in this chest? Name tag, a diamond hoe, some string, I'll take that. This is all worse stuff, I'll take this. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's eat another golden apple and then attack this dude. We got our totem of undying, which is very nice, very useful. Kill another one. Easy peasy with this bow and arrow. Another totem, eight emeralds and two totems so far. Pretty good, pretty good. There's normally some good stuff in the chests up here. Oh, look at all that gunpowder and a lead. And I think that's everything in here. Not a bad haul, to be honest. Shame there's no ocelots to tame. This is my life now, trying to find a jungle biome. Ooh, buried treasure map. Oh my gosh. That is some nice loot right there. I'll take that. Another buried treasure map, what the heck? They're both identical and we're pretty close. Let's go find it. Okay, it should be around here somewhere. 
Gonna have to put some stuff in my shulker box as my inventory is getting real full. Hey, found it. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. Oh my gosh, yes. That's a lot of emeralds. Another heart of the sea. Very nice, very nice indeed. I've just found another fishing rod with mending on. I've slashed my like four fishing rod that has mending on now. I should really start selling these. I'm gonna put all my iron and gold in this shulker box. Along with a few other items as well, just to sort of make some space in this ender chest. And then I can just put the shulker box in there. Very nice. Now Lizzie recommended that I just stay still in the jungle biome and maybe an ocelot will spawn then. I've been running around like mental. Let's hope staying still works. And what better way to wait other than fishing? <laughs> Another name tag. Well, that's an ocelot. Okay, please. Yes! Thank goodness for that. Oh, we've tamed the cat. Time to go back to Meredith and let's walk back. We'll bring the cat with us. Okay, Meredith, this reward better be good. Aren't cats Aww. just the best? I know, I just took so long to find one. Okay, we got $800, free milk buckets, a name tag, and a Pusheen souvenir. Okay, I like the Pusheen souvenir. Let's take another quest. What's this one? Cats are cute and all, but imagine a pet you can ride. Yeah. Tame a horse. Okay, horses are not as rare as cats. In fact, they're pretty much everywhere. First, we're taking this cat home. Jeremy, female Jeremy, meet. Hmm, what should we name this cat? The only suitable name, Cat Jeremy. Okay, let's see if we can find a horse now. Hey, but that wasn't hard. Hey, there we go. Don't even have to use our saddle on him. But we are, and we're gonna ride back to Meredith. Wait, never mind. the horse is stuck and we can't break the blocks. Give me my saddle back. Wait, we're stuck. This is this is protected land. You're giving off some strong horse girl energy right now. Okay. $800, 30 wheat, another name tag, and a crazy horse head. Oh my gosh, we got so many heads. This one's called Breeding Expert, but I'm not qualified to attempt this quest as I've not had any actual children yet myself, so why should I be able to breed other animals? Now, after watching Lizzie's video, she found a secret area which had a chest in it. I wanna see if I can find that too. So I'm gonna buy an ender pearl, because apparently it's really hard to get into, and then we're gonna go see if we can find it. I think it's near Herobrine's temple. Wait, there's also a chest down there. Should I try and get that one? Can I can you fall down? Oh my gosh. How would you even get down there? Maybe you'd have to go into there then there and jump across huh. Let's get the slash home command ready just in case, but that's a chest right there Okay, oh we made it. Oh, that was nerve-wracking <gasps> Sharpness free diamond sword 32 obsidian 16 ender pearls golden pi- oh my goodness gracious. That's insane Sharpness free. Oh my gosh. So this is the temple here where Herobrine lives and you'll notice that this area seems to be very walled off and quite tricky to get into so I presume it's gonna be inside here somewhere. But I'm just trying to figure out where to throw my ender pearl. Maybe just through there like this. Boom. Yes, we're in and here is the other secret chest. What do we get? Oh my goodness gracious, today is a good day. A diamond, another bit of obsidian, another ender pearl, some flowers, a bottle of enchanting, and a lava bucket. So we're gonna use this obsidian I just found to sort of protect our base a bit more. Equip this shield, which is very nice. So our entire roof is nearly protected now, and I'm gonna start working on the walls once that roof is done. We just need to make some more money, really. And I've got so many diamonds and a lot of enchanting points. So I'm gonna see if I can actually get a silk touch enchantment for a new pickaxe, because this one is good, it's got good efficiency, but it's not got anything special about it. So let's see if we can make a special pickaxe and hopefully get lucky with either fortune or silk touch. I'm not gonna hover over it, let's click it. Fortune free, okay, so that's actually really good. So we might go mining right now, try and get some like good resources and stuff. Let's hope we stumble across something nice. And rather than just going strip mining, I'm gonna see if I can find a cave. And I especially want to find a monster to spawn us so I can save the location for when I do get silk touch. Okay, I seem to have stumbled into a mine shaft, which is good. Hopefully we can find some juicy loot or a spider spawner. First chest. Okay, another name tag. We've got so many now. I see a load of cobwebs over here and there is a spawner. Nice. And I can break all these webs around it to get us some string as well, which is lovely. That's a nice surprise. Let's use our fortune pickaxe. See how many diamonds we get. Oh gosh, that wasn't a nice surprise. Oh gosh, yep, yeah, again. So we got zero diamonds because the lava ate it all. This chest over here has got some rubbish in it, but another name tag. Ooh, a diamond. Another name tag, of course. More diamonds. Looting too. Oh, I was hoping that'd be blooming silk touch. 
Another name tag. Oh, and I found another spawner and loads of cobwebs. Good. Well, our inventory is truly full. We managed to get loads of stacks of string, which is awesome. Let's go sell a load of this coal. Maybe some name tags, as we don't really need this many. 20,000 worth of coal, 6,000 worth of redstone, 6,000 worth of lapis, and honestly, I'll keep the name tags. It's not worth the 520 to sell them. Gonna sell some of my mob drops as well. And honestly, why am I going for this looting free? That's for the sword, I've realized. I don't really need that that badly. But silk touch would be useful. So I think I might get that by just buying some string. And if I spend 18,000, I should get exactly five stacks. So there we go. We've given five stacks to Willy and we've got our silk touch book. Let's go put this on a pickaxe. And before we add it on, we may as well enchant this pickaxe. My gosh, if this gets silk touch now, fortune free and unbreaking free, which means I can't add silk touch on it. Cool. Let's try again. Efficiency four, that's what I want. And unbreaking, perfect. And then we can place our silk touch on it, giving us an awesome pickaxe. So now we got a spare fortune one as well, which I'm not complaining about. I'll put that in here. Honestly, our iron is stacking up. We might actually be able to add a mending onto it soon. But let's go get those spider spawners. Here's the first spawner, gimme gimme. Thank you. And here's number two. Thank you very much. Sell this extra bit of coal that I just mined for a tasty 3,000. So we're gonna keep one of these spawners, but the other one, we may as well get looting. It will help with our spider spawner. Lovely. Not sure which sword I'm gonna put it on yet though, so I'll just hold on to it for now. Now, we've been pretty good this episode so far. Let's change that by making our first TNT cannon. But obviously first we need to make some TNT and we can only make 10 bits of TNT at the moment, but that'll do for now, I guess. I have everything I need for this TNT cannon, but now we need to decide who to use it on. Now last episode, Callum decided to put a volcano on my land, spilling lava out and therefore destroying a lot of my trees. How would he like it if some of his land was destroyed? Well, we're about to find out. Okay. It is ready. All right, let's see if this works. Put one there. And you know what? We won't go full force just yet. Let's just see what happens, shall we? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. It exploded way too high up there. Maybe let's do even less powerful. Oh, it blew up the trap door. Nice. <laughs> oh, okay, let's keep going. Let's do a, a, a more powerful one again. Blow, my beauty. Yeah, your volcano's not looking so pretty now, is it, Callum? And the final explosion. Nice. And I'm going to collect all of my stuff because I'm out of TNT. But at least I know my TNT cannon design works. And I'll leave all this cobblestone here for Callum. He can sell it to fix his farm, which I can now get in. Cacti, I can't really destroy any of this stuff. Wait, you can? Is that not protected? Callum, give me all this cactus. Thank you. I put, thanks to the cactus. Maybe don't place a volcano on my land next time, smiley face. This is only the beginning. You know what? Destroy some of these crops as well. Oh, Jeremy's. I'd call that a success, wouldn't you? Man, I love that feeling. I, I think I'm going to do more TNT cannons in the future. That was, that was a lot of fun. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did like my antics this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you haven't already. And subscribe as well. Thank you so much. Goodbye.